everyone, so today I'm going to be discussing Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. This book I actually don't have in a physical form because it came out like last week and I had to read it as soon as it came out because you guys know I'm a huge fan of Colleen. So I actually got it on my phone and read it on my phone. It so. is now available in paperback though if you are interested, so I don't know, I'm going to probably be ordering that soon, but as of right now I just got it on my this phone. This book is the first in a part of a series, the Never Never series, and I gave this book five stars. I believe that it is a new adult book because Taryn Fisher and Colleen Hoover are both new adult writers, but I believe that it could be considered young adult, and if you're somebody that doesn't really read new adult and you read young adult, you'd probably like it. It's not very different. In this book we have our two main characters, Silas and Charlie, and this is an alternating POV book, so every other chapter it's from the different characters' point of view. The book starts out with our main girl, Charlie, and basically she's in a classroom and she has no idea what's going on. As readers, we also have no idea what's going when on. When you get inside Charlie's mindset, you start to figure out that she has no idea who she is, where she is, what she's doing. She has no idea what's going on. And she just kind of goes with the flow. She tries to act normal, but she's just like, what is going on? Like, where am I? Who am I? I don't know. In school that day, she shows up to her lunch block and she finds out that she has this boyfriend named Silas, who she obviously has no idea who he is. And when she sees him, she notices that he looks a little bit off too. And come to find out in the second chapter, when we read from Silas's point of view, he has no idea who he is and he has no idea what's going on this too. This book basically follows Charlie and Silas trying to figure out who they are, what is going on, why they can't remember everything, and it's basically us readers trying to figure out what I happened. I do have to warn you guys that this book does end in a cliffhanger. The second Never Never book is to come out, I believe, on May 17th, 2014, so we'll be waiting until then to figure out some other stuff that we don't know yet. So if you're interested in reading this book but you don't think you'll be able to wait for the second book, maybe pick it up in May, but if you're a big Colleen Hoover fan or a big Taryn Fisher fan or whatever I just said sounds interesting to you, I would recommend you pick it up. So that's really all I'm going to premise you guys for the non-spoiler section because I don't think you should know too much going into this book because it is kind of a mystery. You sort of want to figure it out for yourself. So I'm going to let you guys go, but if you have read this book, then let's talk spoilers. So let's start off with talking about Charlie. So Charlie has an alcoholic mom. Her dad is in prison. She has a little sister who's 14 years old. She lives in kind of a crappy house. Uh, she has like some friends. She lo It looks like she cheated on Silas with this kid named Brian when they were together, but she has no recollection of it, obviously and she basically is just living this life. When Charlie's looking back on all of her hints of like what she was like, she's like, I hate myself. I'm not like that at all. And we see that Charlie becomes really unaccepting of the fact that she is Charlie. And whenever she references like to Silas, like, oh yeah, Charlie, she was this and she and was she that. doesn't really recognize it as herself. And Silas is like, you're talking about yourself. And she's like, no, I'm not her. She's not me. You're not Silas. This is completely insane, which I completely understand. But I think she needs to realize, you know, She's Charlie, so that's interesting. Then we got our boy Silas. I really liked Silas. I thought he was super funny and quirky. He is a football player. He has a little brother named Landon. He lives in a huge house. His family's rich. He's got a maid named Ezra. He's got a mom and he's got a dad. And he was cheating on <laughs> Charlie with the guidance counselor, which I thought was so funny for a plot twist. And I thought it was even funnier when they were like talking about it. Like he obviously knows about Brian and then he's like, it's okay though, like I was cheating on you with the guidance counselor. And then they just laugh about it. I thought that was so funny. It was very interesting how Charlie and Silas could remember things like how to drive, how to get to school, song lyrics, different people like presidents and stuff, but they couldn't remember any of the people, their families, their friends, anything like that. It was really weird like the selective type of memory they had and I thought that was kind of interesting. I have no idea what that's about. I thought it was super interesting when we find out about their tattoos and how Silas has the tattoo of the pearls which mean Margaret which is uh, Charlie's middle name and then Charlie having the tattoo of the tree which means Silas in like Latin or something or Greek or something. I totally forget. But I thought that was very interesting. We didn't get to hear too much about that, but I have a feeling it's going to come up again in the next book because that seems like it'd be something important. Also, the tarot card reading when they go and the woman's card is blank and Silas is like, what is this? Like, she's trying to play us. Like, she's an actress. But And Charlie kind of was like, what? And then, But Silas is actually scared because, you know, he has no idea what's going and on. And then when they have that epic kiss, oh my god, you guys, did you die? Because I felt it. Like, Charlie felt it. Silas felt it. It, and I felt it because it was just like oh my god yes like they are destined to be together I loved it I loved it so much but obviously Charlie was like no I didn't feel anything and Silas is like that's bull and then Charlie 
leaves and she's like peace and she goes out into the taxi and then doesn't even take the taxi and she wanders off. Then we're in Silas's point of view and he finds this note. Basically a note that is addressed to Silas and Charlie and it's signed from Silas and Charlie. Basically they've been losing their memory for a week and every 48 hours they've been waking up again and losing their memory and then every 48 hours again and then 48 hours again for a whole week and they've been leaving notes saying like it's happening again whatever. I don't know how they started out doing the notes because like I don't know so they must have just like the second or first time that it happened like wrote something down like we're forgetting again and then the next time they found it and then they found it and then he found it and again. There was a note in his glove box that was like what we know and he basically wrote down all the information that he remembered basically about how he was cheating with the guidance counselor, about Brian, about the tarot card, about his brother and how he'll be able to trust him, all this random stuff. We also know about the dads having some sort of quarrel and that's why the two families do not talk which I still think is very interesting and it's because Silas's family Charlie's rich and you know Charlie's is a little bit poor so her dad went to jail and you know Silas's dad got off scotch-free so I want to know more about that but the big thing at the end where basically Charlie has no idea so she's gone there's like two hours left in the 48 hour span and if Silas doesn't find her in time Charlie's not gonna remember anything and it'll just be this big mess and I'm just like I need the next book guys I finished this book in one sitting I just sat there and read and I need more like I need more Colleen and Taryn I need more so I'm really getting excited about May 17th even though that's so far from now but I'm really excited to read the next book I would love to hear all of you guys' thoughts on this book tell me if you liked it tell me if you didn't like it tell me what you thought any conspiracies that you have about what might be happening I'd love to hear all of it in the comments below so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like if if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all very very soon. Bye!